We're now going to talk about cranial nerves 3, 4, and 6. I put these together because cranial nerves 3, 4, and 6 all innervate the extraocular muscles. And so we'll do these together, and then we'll cover cranial nerve 5 that seems to be skipped. So cranial nerve 3 is the oculomotor nerve. Cranial nerve 4 is trochlear nerve. Cranial nerve 6 is abducens nerve. These three cranial nerves innervate our extraocular muscles, or the muscles around the eye that move it. We're going to focus on the extraocular motor, blah, 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 ocular motor nerve first. Its orientation, here we have a lateral view of the skull, and it's a lateral view of the orbit on the left side. So if we then take that region and then blow it up, that's the illustration or the illustrative view of what we're looking at, okay? So, lateral view of the orbit on the left side. The ocular motor nerve's origin and course, it arises from the midbrain as well as cranial nerve 4. It then courses to this opening in the skull that's known as the superior orbital fissure. SOF is just its abbreviation. So here we have a view of the skull and we zoom in. The superior orbital fissure is this opening there. It's up on, on the upper part of the orbit and it's a fissure which means it's a big opening, not just a hole, a big opening because a lot of cranial nerves are going to course through that superior orbital fissure. All right, so now the uh, cranial nerve 3 then courses from the supraorbital fissure into the orbit and it innervates muscles, extraocular muscles of the eye. But it also goes to the pupil um, and the lens and works on that from an autonomic parasympathetic level. So let's talk first about the somatic motor to the extraocular muscles. All right. So, and then we'll talk about the visceral motor to the pupillary constrictor and ciliary muscles. All right. To begin, Oculomotor nerve provides somatic or somatic motor innervation to the inferior oblique muscle. It also gives inf uh, somatic innervation to our inferior rectus muscle and to the medial rectus muscle and to the superior rectus muscle and to the levator labi superioris. Um, oh. And to the levator palpebrae superioris, that muscle that elevates the eyelid. So the somatic motor to all these extraocular muscles of the eye that move the eye around. Well, to show that, so there's our cell body. It's in the midbrain. It's a motor neuron. So it arises from a homologous structure of the ventral horn gray matter. We call it the oculomotor nucleus, and it sends off all these motor neurons that innervate these muscles. However, there's also visceral motor to two different muscles, the pupillary constrictor and the ciliary muscles. And so there is another one that arises from a homol homologue to the lateral horn gray matter that is called the accessory oculomotor nucleus. And it sends information to then a peripheral ganglion called the ciliary ganglion, which then sends information to the front of the eye. So one of those muscles that cranial nerve 3 innervates is called the pupillary constrictor muscle because when you shine a light in the eye, shing, it's going to constrict and get really small. It also is going to then innervate the ciliary muscles that when they contract, change the shape of the lens, which allows you to focus your lens uh, uh, for visual information right in front of you or far away. So here's the course and function of the oculomotor nerve from a different view. There is our midbrain and cranial nerve number three coursing to the through the cavernous sinus, to the supraorbital fissure, and then to extraocular muscles, EO, as well as to the uh, pupillary constrictor and the ciliary muscles. So let's now talk about the trochlear nerve, shall we? Cranial nerve number four, its origin and course. It also rises from that midbrain and courses to that superiorbital fissure, and then it's going to course through that superiorbital fissure and then to a muscle that's known as our superior oblique. It gets the name superior oblique because it courses up, wraps around this thing called a trochlea, which is a pulley, and then there's the trochlea, which is where the nerve name comes from, trochlear nerve, and then courses at an oblique angle over on top of the eye, hence the name superior for above, oblique from an angle. So let's do this trochlear nerve again. There's our midbrain. It arises from actually the back of the midbrain, and then courses up to the cavernous sinus, to the superior and traverses the superorbital fissure, and then innervates one muscle, the superior oblique. Now let's talk about talk about, talk about, talk about, talk about, talk about nerve has the following origin and course. It arrives from the pons, 
courses to our superior orbital fissure and, oh, there's a superior orbital fissure again, and it's going to innervate the lateral rectus. So let's draw on, it looks sloppy, I recognize that, lateral rectus. And if we cut, that's how it gets that reflected view uh, of that lateral rectus. And it's going to innervate just one muscle. That's it. So here we've got the pons, that uh, abducens nerve coursing to the cavernous sinus, to the superior orbital fissure, and then to that lateral rectus muscle.